Hi all this is Chetan. Uh, in this video we are going to see how to create RTS read replica across AWS regions. So you might already know uh, RDS uh, provides us an ability to create read replicas uh, in same or different AWS region. Uh, and in this case we are going to create MySQL database engine in Mumbai region. It can be launched as a single AZ or multi AZ in Mumbai region and then you can create read replica in another region. Here I am going to do it in North Virginia. Thing to note that read replicas uh, do the replication asynchronously. That means the read replica might have some stale data and in that case the application which is accessing this data may have some older data. Uh, read replicas are typically used to distribute your read traffic to uh, different uh, databases. Uh, so that the performance of your main databases does not hamper for read queries and another use case could be your application which is hosted in different geography might want to access database locally for better performance where the data uh, stale data may not be an issue because eventually it catches up with your uh, master DB. Okay, so for this assignment we are going to use the setup which I had in Mumbai which I had deployed a multi AZ database. Uh, and uh, for North Virginia, I'm going to create the VPC, one public subnet, two private subnets for databases, and then we'll create one DB subnet group here. And then we'll see how to create a read replica from the RDS instance in Mumbai region. So let's do this. Uh, I'm just going to my console and uh, I'm in North Virginia region this time. I already have the rest of the setup in Mumbai already created for previous exercise. So let me create this VPC, let me call it VPCB and this CIDR should be 10.200.0016 As soon as you do that, just go and create Internet Gateway Say VPCB IGW And let's attach that Internet Gateway to our VPC Okay, let's create subnets. So I want to create one public subnet and two private subnets. So I will call it a public subnet in our VPC. I will create in AZA, it does not matter with the CIDR range of 10200024. Let me also create a public route table for this. I will say public RT in our VPC creates as you know route table must have route to go to internet so i'll put 0.0.0 slash .0, 0 and point it to internet gateway and we need to just associate this route table with the public subnet i'm going very fast because i'm sure you must be aware of all these steps now let's do the next thing create two private subnets so here i will say instead of public this is private one in our VPC AZ, I'm selecting AZA this time and I want to use a CIDR for this as this. I will similarly create another subnet. I will call it private2 in same VPC. I will select different AZ this time. Make sure you select two different AZs for this. These are for the RDS instances and I will select this as my CIDR range. And finally, I'll just create one route table, which I will call private. And I will just create that and I don't need to add any rule. I will just associate with these two private subnets. Okay, so we are done with this setup. Uh, which is shown here. Let me also create a DB subnet group, but this time in North Virginia region. So I'll just from Mumbai, I will go to North Virginia RDS. And here there are something called DB subnet groups. There is no subnet group. I will just create one for me. I will call it say read replica DB subnet group. And I will select my VPC and I will choose subnets, private subnets, two private subnets and just create. Okay, so DB subnet group is also created. 
So all the settings have been done. Uh, now let's do one thing. Let's create a read replica here for this instance, which is in Mumbai region. So let's go to our Mumbai RDS. I am in Mumbai. You can see that this is my DB instance, which I already created in previous exercise. But you, if you don't have it, just go and create the one DB instance. You don't need to have multi AZ setup. Even you can create a single AZ setup. Okay, once you do this, uh, just go here, action and say create read replica. It will ask you a couple of questions. Do you want it in same AWS region or different? So I want it in North Virginia. It will automatically populate your DB subnet groups here. Select the one which you want and the AZ preference, I would say A. I don't want these instances to be accessible publicly and rest of the things uh, which typically it finds out from your main master. So you don't need to give anything uh, again which is source is my master and the name of the target would be read replica or let's call it read replica like this the port 3306 we don't want anything else all defaults just go ahead and create read replica okay so it will cre create the read replica here uh, as you can read here, we are creating a read replica and it will create a new DB instance which will have the source DB instance security group and DB parameters group. So if you want to change that, we would have to go into another uh, region and change the security group rules. So let's go here in North Virginia and you will see it is creating this read replica as of now. If you just click there, you will see more information about this and there is one default security group for this. But we can anytime change this. So let's do that. Let's uh, go to this default security group. And ideally we should create a new security group here. So let's do that. Let's go to a security group and say create a security group. We will call it say read replica sg and inbound rules what we want is for mysql we want it for this ec2 instance which is there in a public subnet so again we will call it 10.200.00 slash 24 okay once that is done we can go back to our rds service of North Virginia we can go to DB instances and we can change our security group here uh, let me see from where we can change here you will see there is a uh, master and the read replica is in our current region that is North Virginia we won't be able to modify the security group unless uh, the database is created once that is done we can modify that so let me pause this video for some time till we have the read replica created completely so creating read replica takes time because aws actually takes snapshot of your main database in another region then copies that snapshot over to the another region and then from that snapshot it creates this read replica so you may expect a delay up to say 10 minutes to this to happen okay you can say uh, current status is modifying uh, by that time it completes uh, then we will change the security group by that time let's launch an ec2 instance in the north virginia public subnet and from there let's try to connect to this read replica so let's do that. Uh, let me go to EC2 instance uh, this time in North Virginia region and let me launch for an EC2 instance. Here I'll select my VPC public subnet and make sure you enable the public IP association storage tags. I can say name read replica client security group. I just want HTTP. Uh, SSH for my IP review and launch with my key and I'm just launching this instance okay uh, let's see this instance let's grab its public IP let's wait for a couple of seconds for this instance to be in running state by that time okay so read replica is available we can modify this 
and we can change its security group so here I don't want to use default security group but I want to use our security group that's it we'll say continue and modify okay that being done uh, let's log into EC2 instance so for that let me go to the putty and just log into this EC2 instance Okay, on this instance as well, we need to install MySQL client like we did for Mumbai RDS. Yum install MySQL. And then we would have to use similar command. So we'll say MySQL minus H. We need to get the endpoint URL, which is this port is default user is master and it will ask us to prompt the password which is this okay let's do show databases and let's use my db if everything is right we should be able to select the records that we had created in master db select star from aws training okay you see this record we have inserted we had inserted in mumbai region uh, let's go back here to mumbai rds and let's connect to an ec2 instance of mumbai region let's reconnect this and let's reconnect using mysql prompt which must be somewhere here and use my db so i'm in mumbai ec2 instance i can also do the same thing select star from aws training i have one record let me add more records so what i will do is i will have the insert command somewhere something like this i will use the same just change few things there maybe in the name i will say two and I will say three okay so we can just check here in Mumbai region itself it shows me three records so if replication is working we should see the same record on the other side that means here in North Virginia region and you see all these three records are there so it's almost in instantaneous because we have very less data but uh, in real world you might see some delay maybe you insert thousands of record and then it will take some time so let's add fourth record and just to select it's added so it's almost real time but uh, you might see uh, in real world there could be a delay so that's what we wanted to do all the replication is happening uh, just last thing uh, this does not come in free tiers so you might get charged a bit after this assignment just go and delete whatever you have created so if you are done this uh, you, if you are done this exercise congratulations you are almost done through all our rds exercises thanks for watching